hey guys it's z here back with another tutorial i hope you all are doing great so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys these manga rotations that i usually do in my edits so now without further wasting any time let's get straight into the tutorial so now for the tutorial what you need to do is make sure that your clips are just like me like make them in 169 format and what you need to do is make sure that your background is a bit big like it should not be in 3-4 format make sure it's a bit big and the cutout should also be in the center just like me do this for all of your clips and if you made them manually then what you need to do is compound clip them in CapCut PC or in mobile just export them and import them again if you compound clip them in PC just like me then what you need to do is right click on them and then pre-process them then change your ratio from 16.9 to 3.4 and now what you guys need to do is change the size of your clips like they should fit the screen and then we'll start adding the keyframes and now for the keyframes select your first clip add a scale and rotate keyframe at the start then go to the end of the clip then go nine frames to the left now zoom in here just like me like it should zoom in a bit and then change the rotation from 0 to minus 15 then go at the end now zoom in a bit like too much here and then change the rotation to 30 and now your first clip should look something like this now select the second clip and then add a scale keyframe and rotation keyframe at the start then go at the end then again go 9 frames to the left and then add a scale and rotation keyframe there too now zoom in a bit and then change the rotation to 50 now go at the starting of the clip and then change the rotation to minus 30 now go at the end now zoom in a bit too much again and change the rotation to minus 30 now select the third clip add a scale and rotation keyframe at the starting then go at the end go 9 frames to the left and then zoom in a bit there and change the rotation to minus 15 now go at the starting change the rotation to 30 now go at the end now zoom in a bit too much at the end and now change the rotation back to 30 and now select the fourth clip and then add a scale and rotation keyframe at the starting then go at the end now zoom in a bit there and change the rotation to 15 now go at the starting and change the rotation to minus 30 now check the keyframes if you have done them correctly or no and then if you are done with them now we'll start adding the graphs if you don't know how to do the custom graph then do this it's just use ease out 2 and then select the middle frame and then just do the same things that i'm doing here and then do the same for the rotation 2 and for the other clips too but what i'll do is i'll do my own custom graph so i'll just be doing that right now so after you're done with the graphs then your clips should look something like this and now what you have to do is put these clip a bit up from the main timeline and now we'll have to add an effect called silver print make its twist 100 and uh, you don't have to change anything from the speed right now and make uh, the texture zero now what you need to do is adjust it according to the clips like go to the second clip and then see like from where it is looking good like it shouldn't be too much nor too less like adjust it and then after adjusting it uh, what you need to do is count the frames from the right to left and then what you need to do is copy this effect for me it was 22 frames so i'll go to the first clip and then i'll go to the left side 22 frames and then i'll paste the effect and then compound clip it like this and then i'll just uh, delete the extra part and you have to do the same for the rest of the clips after doing this put them back in the main timeline and then pre-process them and after pre-processing see the clips like if they are looking good and then we'll add a transition right now a certain transition called distortion add it to all of these clips and then you're done and now if you want to add like motion blur to it then what you need to do is select the clip and then enable motion blur and do the blur 30 do not change anything else do the same for the rest of the clips and then you'll be done 